Hi everybody, this is Barbara with Life on the Scrappy Side. I wanted to bring, uh, show you some of the flowers that I have in, just a reminder. But before I do that, I want to show you a project I've been working on for months and months and months. This is a kit I bought from my sister a while back. It's the cookbook from uh, Cherry Pie with Webster Pages. And I just wanted to show it to show y'all what I've been doing. I've not gotten it together by any means. I've not finished it. Um, but this is what I've been working on lately. Um, it has the Prima Bling, and these are flowers that I've actually... These All three of these flowers are from this. Uh, well, not from this one in particular, but from these little putt marshmallow roses. And I just used Glimmer Mist to glimmer them. I did blue. Um, I think that was... Jack Frost, I think, is what I used there. And then the Santa Baby Red. And then this one here is Crushed crushed Shells, I think, um, with that one. And then the, the Prima Roses. And I used three different ones. Blue ones there somewhere. Oh, there's the blue one. And then these were little things my sister had put in the kit. The corn and the pepper. These are ceramic types. These are little plastic buttons. And this little pot and this little charm here, I had gotten a um, long time ago in, when I signed up for some kind of book club for cooking books. Um, I love cookbooks. I've got like a gazillion of them. But um, I decided to put that on there. This is um, my title page, Favorite Recipes, with the Prima Roses again. And I also glimmer missed those. And this is a charm that my sister made. Um, and I just put that on there instead of hanging it on my binder that I'm going to have on here. I decided to put it on this. I just thought it was very becoming for it. But that's my front cover. And then this page. I absolutely love this lady on here. It's just so cute. Uh, this is a Crafty Secrets. And Julie had put some, um paper clips that like are fruit. This is a cherry one. There's other ones in here and um, I just use that to clip that on there. These are um, where I put my recipes. There's two here but I'm not going to pull them out. <laughs> and then these roses. These are not um, Prima. These are um, recollections from Michael's. And then I did this little recipe card. She gave me this clothes pin. I just glued one side. And this one actually opens where I can clip more recipes. But I chose to clip her right now. It says, this is so me. I hate housework. You make the beds, wash the dishes. And six months later, you have to do it all over again. <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. So I stuck that on. And then my recipe go there. And then there's a pocket there that this slides into. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's a little bit rusty today. Um, this is the next page that will go right beside this one. And this is Crafty Secrets. These are just um, little places here I've got where I can just put stick a recipe under there if I want to. Because I really love this paper and I didn't want to cover it up. So my recipe cards are going to be in here. Uh, this is a pocket here. And then when I need to do my recipe, I'll just stick it there so I can read it without it being any trouble. But in the meantime, this is going to be there. I just like this. I thought it was cute. And it fits nicely right there in the corner. And let's see. Then this page and this page will go together. Can't see that. But this is how I'm going to have my barbecue sauce. It's going to be on this jar. I'm going to write my barbecue sauce recipe on it. One side says family, the other side says celebrate. Up here on the little tag. And then it just slides in. Da, da, da. That was a pattern she put in there. And uh, I just traced it and cut it out with that. And down here is the barbecue sauce with a steak. These are some just I had bought from Walmart or sometime long ago. Um, this is a Tim Holtz die cut that she gave me in the kit and then this here is another dimensional that I just had from Walmart or something actually I think these came off the same one and then this here was just some 
yarn or something I had that I just made it look like smoke. And then this is the recipe that my rib recipe is going to go in. Keep it very simple. I, I really love this paper and I didn't want to put a whole lot of embellishment stuff on it and cover it up. And then I have room for another tag here that I can put in. And I also line my thing with um, the pie. I love the pies too. They're so cute. And then the next page that goes beside it is about pies. I'm going to have my pie recipe, a couple of pie recipes that I like to make in it. Um, has the rolling pin again, more stuff I bought a long time ago. These are actually from the paper. I cut them out. I made one of them pop up and the other one I put to the paper. And then this here is a little charm thing that I've had forever. Again, I think I got it from Walmart or something like many years ago. With the little bait thing and then the little flower and the spoons. And I just um, stickled the leaves with the, I think it's the sage one is the one I used. And again, there's another um, place for a tag up at top. A recipe. And then I also have another place here for the recipe. And got plenty of room. Made it fit the things. Very cute. I love the paper. Like I said, I don't want to embellish it a lot. Um, I want to be able to see <laughs> see the paper. This is such a beautiful line. Um, this is um, the back side. It will go with these two to go together. This one and this one. Um, this one says, what's cooking? These are some uh, rub-ons my sister had in along with these were rub-ons. So I just put those on. And I'll probably just put a picture or something there of cooking or something whenever I got of our family together and we were cooking. Somebody took some pictures. Um, here's a pocket that has a spellbinders die that I used to cut that out. That's one of the grands. And then on this one, again, didn't want to cover up that paper, so I've kind of left it where I can put something here if I want to. And over here, these are all little things that Julie had in the kit. So I've put them on this page. I just really thought that was cute. Flower sugar. Again, I cut the little pies out. And then this is a pocket back here that I can put something in tags in and then also I left these where I could slip a recipe in there if I want to and um, I just thought this was really cute and that says sweets these are recollection roses they are not prima they're very pretty I still love them even though they're not prima and on this page um, first thing I'm going to show you is this tag um, that I made my mother actually crocheted these for Julie to have in her kit. This was actually white, and then I just used uh, Glimmer Mist, the olive vine, to glimmer that. I don't know if you can see it, but it is shiny. It's very pretty. And then she had done the cherries in the red, and then I just put a little brown lace that I've had forever. I don't even know where I got it from, <laughs> but I put that on there and did Martha Stewart Punch. And then I can write the recipe on the back, and it just slides right up here in my holder. My other little tags in the way. Let me pull that out. I have to slide this one in first because of that lace on it. It'll get hung. So I wasn't really thinking when I did that, but I really like that lace on there, so I left it on there. And then that just hangs over. Um, this is uh, got it stuck in there. Um, this is from another line of um, Webster's Pages. I can't remember the name of it. Um, it was a long, long time ago. And again, the Martha Stewart punch I did on the side. Very pretty, and it just slides right in there for me to write a recipe on. Again, this is the this is 12 by 12. I used 12 by 12, and the 6 by 6 is on this. Um, Jilly had the 6x6 in her kit, and I used the 12x12s I had bought a long time ago. This is a collar thing that she had, and I broke the bottom off and made it as a bowl. And I put my cherries on it, and then this flower. And then this here is um, the little bead things, the bedazzles. Not bedazzles. 
What are these little things called? I've got them right here. 